Hey everyone, it's Zach with Palantir Research. Palantir's got a new artificial intelligence partnership with the federal government with juicy details that can actually expand their footprint, as well as Sham Sanker dropping some gems at the Hudson Institute, as well as a new short interest data here for Palantir, which I'll get into right now. So the new bi-monthly short interest data as of January 12, 2024, shows that short interest has actually slightly increased by 1.11% to 102.52 million shares sold short, which is a total of 5.61% of the current float. So nothing really else to report here but to monitor if this goes up or down later on. Then for Shyam speaking at the Hudson Institute, solving operational problems with today's technology, launched the Apex Conference series. This is focused on the military side here, where the panel consisted of Anderol and Helicon, but also a retired major from the Air Force. So it's a very fascinating panel here where they covered how to improve the armed forces. And right off the bat, we first talk about how to interconnect the military more and more, and that behemoth task of actually doing this stuff from acquiring technology to actually implementing it into the true adoption of using it when it's there. And just a couple of days ago, too, we talked about this article on Palantir declining business in the government, and Shyam literally kind of contradicts that narrative here, talking about how competition has helped their business in reducing costs and basically forced them to be more aggressive and efficient, as well as innovative when bringing solutions to the government. But check out the whole thing and all the speakers. They bring a great perspective there from their experience. So for the direct source, though, it's right on their page here. Now for the new partnership announced, this is for the launch of the National AI Resource Research Pilot. So it's launched by the National Science Foundation or NSF. The project NAIRR is a pilot to kind of be the foundation of a national infrastructure, and that's to support AI research, but in a responsible manner here. The big thing to note is there will be 10 other federal agencies and many very familiar client names too for Palantir, and then 20 leading AI industry and nonprofit partners, which includes Palantir. Now it was launched under an executive order here by the president where they were given 90 days to launch the pilot and people running the program are talking it up as something that can determine the trajectory of our country's approach to AI. And personally, I'd say it's better than doing nothing, honestly. So going in with the plan, knowing things will change anyways, it's probably better than just everyone doing something on their own and just figuring it out later on. Now, for the federal agency list, already right off the bat, we see the DOE, the VA, NIH, DOD. So those really stand out as major clients at Palantir. And I need to double down and just double check those little details for the other ones on the federal contracting website. But getting the chance to have some face time with these is always a great way to showcase their capabilities. And maybe something on the side can come about over time or just between all these different groups. But also alongside Palantir, there are plenty of big names here with no need to point them out, really. But if you look on the bright side, if you're putting these big tech names alongside Palantir, as a leading AI industry partner, then at least in the U.S. government's eyes, that's true as well for Palantir. But what's the actual point of this pilot? Well, it will be a collaboration consortium of a bunch of these partners really trying to tie together responsible AI research in the country. And they're no doubt going after the big kahunas here of environmental and infrastructure research, as well as healthcare, human health, and AI education as well. And the pilot's operations will be broken up into four portions. There's the open, the secure, the software, and the classroom portion, each with their own kind of directives here all around facilitating just more open but safe research in artificial intelligence. And then researchers will gain access to these open data sources and have data sets and models to work with. But there will be requirements though first before gaining access. And for scale right now, the launch will support around 25 to 50 research projects and eventually by next season in the spring, 100 to 400 to their estimates. So we don't get a dollar amount here or the value of that being able to participate in such a nationwide project, but that can set the pace and infrastructure of AI research in the United States, which can be invaluable if this scales really big, as long as it doesn't slow down the other Palantir side of business. So I think the opportunity is good. Plus you got all these federal agencies to see what you can do in regards to AI. So overall, I think it's still good press for Palantir. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.